Bolivia is easily one of my favorite countries in South America, and we ended up spending just over a month here, including our first stop in Sucre. This is the capital of Bolivia and its sixth most populated city. It sits at 9,000 feet, meaning you'll definitely feel the effects of altitude sickness. So what should you do in this picturesque city? Here we are. Ooh, that's the doorbell. So now we are in Sucre, Bolivia, which is a city that I've never heard of, and we're gonna find out what there is to do here today. Are you ready for our first adventure in Bolivia? Yeah, of course I am. Go ready. I know. Oh. <laughs> so ready. So again, one of the joys of being kind of like a digital nomad means that Monday to Friday I'm working, um, I've got my clients' work to do, and then obviously I'm working to create some stuff for you guys. But yeah, so, I worked all week again while we were here. Haven't actually left the apartment to be fair. And so yeah, this is gonna be our first adventure. It was our first outing. I'm out of breath. I think it's the altitude where I'm just really unfit. Primero vez a Bolivia? Si. Ah, okay, bien. Bienvenido. <laughs> Gracias. After speaking with a few travelers, I know Sucre is a great place to take Spanish lessons if you're after a language program. If you're traveling through, I would recommend spending no more than two or three days here. But if you're a digital nomad, this is a great spot to spend some time with good Wi-Fi, city amenities, and it's much cheaper than nearby a uni. So this is the viewpoint. Um, it's called The area is called Recoleta. This is a viewpoint, so we're gonna enjoy these views for a minute. Tourism in this often overlooked country is in its infancy, being around for only about 30 years. So you may have to work a little bit harder here, but as with all things in life, it's absolutely worth it. But besides all the charm, Sucre is also home to one of the largest collection of dinosaur footprints in the world, over 5,000 to be exact. The nerd in me was very excited about this. So one of the things that I found out that they have here is kind of a Jurassic Museum slash park. Fit then. I'm peanut head. <laughs> <laughs> peanut head strikes again. Well, we're about to go walk and see some footprints because they've actually discovered a ton of footprints of different dinosaurs here. It's pretty cool. The nerd in me is happy. that works out is this used to be a lake so then all these dinosaurs were hanging out by the water and leaving footprints and then when the tectonic plates move pushed them and that looked like dinosaurs were magic and could walk up walls they could not though also ross broke the microphone um back in mendoza so i was trying to get on a horse yeah well he was trying to get on a horse so if the sound is awful i'll be voiceovering this and until I can get a new microphone. So, it was already broken anyway. So if you want to come here, basically the walking tours and especially this to see the footprints starts at 12. So you have to make sure you're here. There's a tour at 11.30 to kind of go through the park and then you can see the footprints at 12. I love dinosaurs as a kid and all the books and all the dinosaurs. Love them. So this was a really cool thing to do here and it definitely wasn't very expensive and it seems like it's, yeah, it's a lot of breath. It's definitely one of the most popular things to do here because I think this is one of the biggest areas in Bolivia where they have found um, some fossils and mainly footprints. 
Sucre is a really charming place um, with really nice architecture and it's just a really pretty place to walk around. And yeah, I would recommend probably about two days here unless you are digi digital nomading like I am, where it's actually a really great place to stay for a while because it is a bit cheaper than a uni and it has some really good internet connection. So it works out really well for that. But as, um, as before, stay tuned at the end. I'm gonna throw in a little slide with some of the cost breakdowns of Sucre. And until next time, be good to one another, be good to our planet, and keep adventuring. <laughs>